So we're here at the Oakland Conference Center for the second debut of the Sun Grown Indoor Trailer. It's a demonstration of technology to where people can step inside and see what it's like actually underneath the solar tube lights. In doing the use of natural sunlight and bringing that inside, we're really trying to address an energy issue within the cannabis space uh, for cultivation and following on the heels of Massachusetts just announcing a 33 watts per square foot energy regulation. What you're looking at behind me can achieve less than one watt per square foot, yet still sustain commercial cannabis production levels. And we show that we have the technology to capture sunlight and bring it into an indoor space with no heat and no humidity, which allows us to grow outdoor quality cannabis in an indoor controlled environment. Jonathan built and ran a facility that did the R&D for our technology in Petaluma for almost three years. And in fact, it was my visit to his farm that spurred my interest in partnering up with him and creating a new way to cultivate cannabis. All we're doing here is showing that the solar tubes produce the par necessary to grow. Right yeah. now with the sun over there, we're racking 14, 1500 par in there. Actually more than you would need. Clouds don't make a difference. The only thing that makes a difference is like you're saying, actual length of the day. Already getting attention from the sidewalk, but we're gonna have a lot of fun today and, and show a lot of people the future of the cannabis cultivation industry. All right, we'll, we'll just do a I'm quick flipping the switch. Uh, Flip the switch. Flip the switch. Oh, holy cow. <laughs> Wow. There we go. Gee, yeah. <laughs> wow, man. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Now, this is what I'm talking oh, about. Sweet, oh, man. We need this everywhere. <laughs> so, what happened there me mechanically? Dimmers just opened? So just like a little, just, they just opened up. Okay, got it. Okay, baffled. Usually, there's another peak right there with the reds, but. Because yeah. of the clouds, that's yeah. being. It's not even outside. Yeah. 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 Yeah, spectacular. Our par is in this room and it's everywhere. The lumens in this room, it's everywhere. It's sunlight. Light yeah, just right, sunlight right. just fills the space ambiently and it penetrates much more too through the canopy. In an installation for cultivation, the space between the ceiling and the collectors would be six feet. Okay. And that actually that eliminates these hot spots and ghosts <laughs> and it becomes a pure cylinder of pure white sunlight. Okay. So you don't lose any of the spectrum. We're at 98% full spectrum, 98% power, 97.5% of the infrareds reflected out. So UVB is pulled out and uh, UVA, those are pulled out. So if you want to re-add those, you put those back with artificial lights. The IO is absorbed in the, absorbed in those big collectors and it's not set inside, so there's no heat coming in. As far as the plant is concerned, that's, that's, no, that's, that's, that's dinner. Yeah. The plant has <laughs> enough. Yeah. That's dinner. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Certain. We're building our flagship at the Coachella facility in Desert Hot Springs. Zero carbon footprint, zero electricity use for the year. Right. And it's not even this bright outside. No, it's it's not bright. I'm, I'm thinking light depth, and this is so much better than pulling tarps. Oh, yes. oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. Like, not Pretty awesome. It works. Fantastic. Well, sustainability is not just a fad thing anymore. It's something that everybody's going to have to do if they want to make a profit. Oh, I've been pretty impressed by what I've seen. Um, I've actually been following this technology for quite some time because I think that it is a very... A sustainable way of growing. That's the future. A lot of companies, lighting, lighting companies are going to be upset about that, but that's the future and it's only going to get better. Long term we expect to use this cultivation technology for other forms of agriculture as well. I like to say that we're nothing short of a revolution in the industry right now.